happening guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Greg and you're watching g -Light Travels. So in today's video, I'm going to be staying in the San Diego Hotel in Western Supermare. Um, I'm only staying here one night. We've also got a breakfast included in the stay. And we're gonna see, yeah, what the hotel is about. Do you get good value for money here? Is it worth staying here? Um, so I'm actually recording this after I've checked in and after I had a little sleep. Um, but yeah, watch on to see what the hotel is like. Oh yeah. Just come to check in, please. Okay, and which way should I go? Sorry, um, right, so we're going to sit just around this corner. Yeah. And we'll have a second tour. Okay. Bar is straight ahead of you. Okay. Okay, and you're down for breakfast as well. Yeah. So breakfast is between um, 7.30 and 9.30. Okay, cool. On the first floor, okay. Marvellous, alright, thanks very much. Cheers. Sure, sure, thank you. Oh uh, yeah, that's another lift. Alright, cheers. Double close the when you like that. Okay. Like that. That sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. Alright, right. cheers. Yeah, another old school lift. That's pretty cool. Right, so here we are guys, here is my room in Sandring Hotel. Um, so the first thing that strikes me is that it's very small. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Uh, I think I did request a double bed, but yeah, we've got a single. Um, so let's have a look at this marvellous room. So we've got a little clock here. Um, oops, sorry, yeah, my hand's a bit dirty from the car. Oh, got some more lights. Ah, oh, that light works, and the clock is not telling the right time. It's saying it's 3.05, never mind. I've got an old school phone here. Hello? Ah, it works. Um, look at the yellowing on that. That is super old school. Uh, we'll check the bed in a moment. Let's check the rest of the room first. A little TV here, ISIS TV. Ah, so it has terrorism propaganda programs. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, that's an interesting brand of TV though, ISIS. Uh, is it working? There we go. Yeah, so it is working. Cool. Um, little kettle check. You know how I love to check my kettles when I'm staying in a new hotel. That looks pretty clean. Pass is the G Light Travels kettle check test. And uh, we've got one coffee, a bit stingy, two tea bags, some milk, and yeah, relatively clean cup. So that's not too bad. Lots of white sugar, but I don't take sugar because I'm sweet enough as it is. Um, yeah, the furniture's oops, quite new. Where's my Bible? Oh, there's no Bible. That is disappointing. Oh, there it is. There's my Gideon Bible. Um, yeah, not particularly attractive carpet and a sad 
kind of lonely looking chair there. Check out the view. Now, this view is awesome. Check out this view of Western Supermare. <laughs> and it's a rainy, miserable day here on the west coast of England. <clears throat> We've got a little wardrobe here where I hung up my coat already. Extra blankets, that could be useful if it's cold, but actually it's it's pretty mild, pretty uh, warm today. We've got a lovely Monet, Monet I should say, Bathers at la Grenouillière, Bathers at the Grenouillière, whatever that means. Uh, I'm not too sure. Okay, and let's do the bed check. There's a little side table there. Whoa, that is soft. That is super soft. Um, yeah, see how clean it is. Looks pretty clean. Yeah, pillow smell. Yeah, nice and clean, nice and fresh. Got an interesting red, fairly knackered headboard. Yeah, and we've got a mattress protector there. And I'm not going to delve further because, yeah, mattresses are usually not the nicest and most attractive of things. Um, got quite a few marks on the walls here. I don't know if you can see got black marks and black dots there. Yeah, more black marks. More black marks probably from that chair. Uh, I've got a radiator which we might need tonight, I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's small, but it's it's okay. It's better than the Russell Court Hotel, link in description. <clears throat> um, okay, so let's check out the bathroom. Whoa. It's in some sort of 70s throwback, isn't it? Look at the colour schemes in here, kind of creamy, mauve, beige. Um, let's turn this on. So we've got a lovely kind of beige sink here. The water works, which is good. We've got one lonely little soap, better than nothing. Um, no shower gel, no toothpaste. Didn't bring any toothpaste, bugger. <laughs> oh well. And yeah, a nice little shower there. And a couple of towels. So yeah, it's um, not the most modern of designs by any means, but you know, it is what it is. You get what you pay for, as they say. Okay, so next off, we'll be checking the rest of the hotel out. So stay tuned, guys. And actually, one thing I just want to quickly mention is here is my key card, so room 218 is where I'm staying in. Uh, I don't know if you can see, underneath the sticker, it says room 410. So does that mean, if I go to room 410, this key works for it as well? How intriguing, shall we go and give it a try? <laughs> so just in case you didn't see it earlier, here is the lift. Take a look at this, we've got another old school lift. In fact, there's two lifts. There's this more modern one, which I don't want to use, that's boring. I want to use this one, the one where you've got to manually open and close the doors. Okay, let's go. And the second door. Right, then we've got to close them. Close, please close both lift doors on leaving. <coughs> so, where should we go? Um, let's go and check out the dining room. Yeah. Then on the ground floor we've got reception, lounge, toilets and chaplain's bar. So obviously it's the, the next morning, and I must say I did have quite a good sleep at the Sandringham Hotel, um, despite the fact that the mattress was rather soft. However, there are some things that I would like to show you on closer inspection, and I'm going to be rather picky for the purposes of this video. So I'll flip you round to the rather petite bathroom. 
Um, so first of all, let's take a look at the state of this radiator. I mean, look at that rust. Yeah, all that paintwork that's coming away. Look at all the dust in there. I mean, that is disgusting. That has not been cleaned for years. Um, another thing. Okay, don't worry. I'm not about to take a, go to the toilet. But I sit here. Houston, we have a problem. Look at the lack of space. I mean, look at that. I'm not a particularly big chap. But someone who's, uh, you know, slightly bigger than me would have, wouldn't be able to sit down here. But there's just absolutely no space whatsoever. And that brings me to the other point, the shower. Oh yeah, no, before I get into the shower, there's no hook here, that's been broken. So the only place I can hang my toiletries bag is on this nail, this screw up here. Um, there's nowhere to hang the towels, um, no other hooks. <clears throat> I suppose you could hang it up there, but that's the bath mat. Um, but yeah, the shower. So the shower is very, very small. Um, I mean, this shower head, I could barely fit under there. So anyone who's taller than me is going to have significant problems using that shower without bending over or going in the shower on their knees. And there's just no space. Like, you can barely fit in this shower here. Um, so yeah, so I, I know I'm being a little bit picky, but those are the things I would like to point out. Okay, let's go and check out breakfast. Eight o'clock. Ah, oh, okay, no worries. I'll come back in a bit. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, we've got a nice little landing area here. We've got a great view. The pier. And the seven channel there. Right, let's go and check out breakfast. So here we have the full English. Uh, unfortunately, I did start filming just after I started eating, uh, but it was pretty good. Uh, I mean, for five pound extra, you can't go wrong. And a nice little view outside the hotel there. All right, guys, so here is the outside of the hotel. Uh, see the restaurant area there, and there's the reception. And this is the, uh, this is the shot I wanted to give you yesterday, but unfortunately, it was pissing it down. Um, and I was carrying two rather large bags, so I couldn't get any shots. Anyway, I thought uh, I'd just like to show you the outside of the hotel as well. And it's right by the beach and the pier, which you can see here. Okay, let's go and check it out. Okay, so here we are on Western Supermare Beach. Um, here is the Grand Pier. I don't think it's open yet, so can't go on it unfortunately. In fact, I, I don't even know if it's open during the winter. Comment below if you do know. Um, yes, yeah, so let's take a little walk along this lovely beach. Wow, it does go out very, very far. 
I know the uh, the seven estuary is tidal and look how far the sea goes out there um, anyway let's talk about the Sandringham Hotel so have I had a good stay here is it good value for money is it yeah a good hotel to stay at if you come to Western Supermare um, so first of all let's talk about the negatives uh, so my room is very very small um, I mean, it's about as small as the room I had in the Russell Court Hotel link in description um, yeah it's it's a little bit rough around the edges I mean it's clean that's that's the number one the Russell Hall Court Hotel was not clean and hence I didn't sleep very well there um, but this room is clean and I did have a really good night's sleep <clears throat> um, as you saw previously the bathroom is very small um, yeah so that's that's definitely a big negative for me um, and it could do with a good clean a good deep clean you know but other than that I mean the hotel is old it could do with some modernization but it's it's fine I mean I only paid 35 pounds for room plus breakfast so you know you get what you pay for um, so yeah I, I can't complain too much there uh, what else let's talk about positives so the price I think the price is excellent value for money um, I think the uh, yeah breakfast was really good I, I put a few shots there you've got um, full English uh, buffet kind of style breakfast continental as well um, so that was good and the service was really good like the uh, the waitresses serving breakfast were really friendly so that that was good um, yeah and I mean the room's clean uh, so it's, it's pretty good value for money in terms of location it's excellent so it's right by the city center um, yeah right by the beach as you can see now um, so yeah so in terms of location it's really good um, yeah what else let me have a little think and I'll get back to oh yeah and one other negative thing that I did not mention earlier um, is the fact that there is no parking at the hotel so yes yeah, so unfortunately you have to go and park at the NCP car park which is about a five minute walk so it's not far but obviously you have to pay for that so that is a bit annoying not the most convenient shall we say particularly if you've got heavy luggage but there we go yeah so overall um, I would say that the Sandringham Hotel in Western Supermare is excellent value for money um, it is a little rough around the edges I mean there was another thing I didn't mention you may have heard this in the video earlier when I was checking in I'm sure she said that breakfast was 7.30 to 9.30 and I rocked up at 7.30 and no it wasn't open until 8 and then I got, got there at 8 and it was absolutely rammed um, but yeah there we go um, so yeah so I would yeah I, I would recommend if you're on a budget and you want to visit Western Supermare yeah you can't really go wrong at the uh, Sandringham Hotel um, I think if you if you got a, a double room or a family room it would probably be yeah it'll be a, a lot bigger that's for sure and possibly even a bit nicer okay guys so I think I'll wrap it up there so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, make sure you check out my other hotel review videos uh, and please make sure you like this video put a comment have you stayed in Western Supermare where did you stay have you stayed at the Sandringham Hotel um, and please make sure you do subscribe I would really appreciate that thanks a lot bye for now